Easy, whoa. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I, I don't think so. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we'll cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... 
We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Come on, girl. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother they're saying Dutch murdered on the boat. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Watch it! Push up, come on! Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Stopped. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me.
should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay here. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Wait here. He's still wheeling them in. Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You take She's the one on the left. Where is Let's go there? now. Keep down. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose... If I lose Bessie, I lose everything! Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit! <laughs> Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take them down. God damn army of these bastards. How much is Charles found? We should turn him in a ah! Still time.
Let's get Sean. Hold you, fellas. Arthur. <laughs> You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
Yep. I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Arthur! Oh, Even Arthur! You, Arthur. Are you seem in a good Even mood. You. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all crone. Mr. McGuire. I'll is keep back. them girls in line. If I have to Let's whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Dead Eye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Can we drink now, please? <laughs> Let's enjoy ourselves. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you fine folks? Still hey there. Oh. I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. Mr. McGuire. This stupid. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? Them that discovered the stuff must have thought they was gods among monkeys. They discovered fire. In our time, <laughs> they've discovered a wire you can talk down to speak to people you wanted to avoid so much you moved to a different town to escape them. <laughs> It's a good one. Fellas, we spend all night talking about what they were going to do the second they left. All kinds of things. Are we put some music on? I will. She says, young man, you're a great like, taste for the day. I'm going to go and dance with the finest whore in San Francisco. Some shit like that. You know how that was it. Says you're getting pretty nigh to my diddle 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 holiday. My hand upon her ass. Mark well what I do say. She says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle 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 holiday. And we diddle diddle did too. Just stream and leap. And then they left. And then they jump back. Very nice. But how about something a little more civilized? Ah, it's good to be back. I even missed you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. Miss O'Shea, dance with me. Of course, Dutch. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Sure. I ain't much of a dancer. <laughs> Look at me, with the bell of the ball. <laughs> Stop it, you. Say, Arthur, it's okay to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Uh, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's <laughs> about all I can muster. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Feels like ages since we've done this. Things are on the up again. Fine. Mr. Morgan. My dear. Well, thank you, sir. Oh, Always good course. to see you. I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. <laughs> How you keeping, old man? Uh, you know. Been better. We have had quite the ride, huh? Oh, yeah. Quite the ride. They ain't strung us yet. <laughs> no. Maybe they never will. They won't. I'm gonna get us out of this one. <laughs> we have been stuck before. <laughs> You, do you remember that mine? <laughs> of course. And that, oh, that nauseating Poppin' Jay in that frontier town. <laughs> and of course. <laughs> we did it. Jose. Huh. Whatever else happens, 
We did it. I know. Mr. Matthews? Looks like this could be a late one. Oh, I reckon. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, Arthur. Are you having fun, Arthur? Sure. <laughs> you don't look like so much fun, boy. That's your fucking hair down like a man. <laughs> Hell, even old man Strokes is more of a laugh than you, boy. Well, thank you, kid. I, I, I'm sorry, Arthur. I, I, I didn't mean it. It's just because I care. It's because I love you, Arthur. Really, it is. taking me south to paradise. Not a vicious blizzard, thick mud, railways, filthy towns, and any other hells we've encountered. Blackwater! <laughs> Never was a place true named, huh? Huh? <laughs> I like blue water. Mm-hmm. Blackwater? You can keep that. <laughs> blue water. Fire water. Salt water. Black water's for fools. Yep. It's just unnatural. All this land. Ain't natural at all. I ever tell you boys about the time I was lost in the Congo and became a, a living god for a few days? Seriously, it's a good one. And it's true, entirely true. Many, many years ago, I was selling camping supplies in East Africa. <laughs> uh, my lord, it was wild. The massive boys, uh, them Congo Indians, <laughs> average nine feet tall, some even bigger. <laughs> now, we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly our boat erupted into flames. Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses. I survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and as luck would have it, they, they had a witch doctor who made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river, white as a cloud. <laughs> so they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. Uh, well, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> when I said I'm not the marrying kind, <sighs> they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle. <laughs> Gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you.
Hello, sirs. Howdy do, Arthur. <laughs> You're not. Everyone thinks that you're Dutch's pet. His pet? <coughs> yep. Like a dog or a cat. You're his favorite. Favorite? People care about that? Sure. I mean, so, so, some do. A few people. Who? I don't know. I don't know. Well, me. Or not me. Maybe me. I don't, ah, shit, I don't know. I mean, like, hey, hey, it's like, okay. I love liquor. I love liquor. But liquor don't love me. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> pathetic. Genuinely pathetic. Come here, my sweet. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> She really hates me, Arthur. Well, we got him. You did very well, all of you. And now we're stuck with him. You awake? Oh, what? I'm trying to sleep here. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. Oh, I'm too tired for this. Diamonds, I know you of old. You rob my poor pockets of silver and gold. Oh, whiskey, you villain, you've been my downfall. You've kicked me, you've cuffed me, and caused me to brawl. My foot's in a stirrup, my bridle's in my hand. I'm leaving sweet Molly, the fairest in the land. Her parents don't, don't like me, they say I'm too poor. They say I'm unworthy to enter her door. They say I drink whiskey, my money's my own. And them that don't like me can leave me alone. I eat when I'm hungry, I'll drink when I'm dry. And when I get thirsty, I lay down and cry. <laughs> it's beefsteak when, when I'm hungry and whiskey, whiskey when I'm dry. dry. Greenbacks when I'm hard up and hell when, when I die. die. <laughs> rye right whiskey, rye right right whiskey, rye right right whiskey, right whiskey, I cry. If, if I don't get rye right right whiskey, whiskey, I surely will die. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby I've told you before. Do make me a pallet, I'll lie on the floor. 
I've rambled and trampled this wide world around. Right now with the gang, that's where I am found. It's with these gun slingers, they are Molly on Rome. I'm a rabble rouser and Dixie's my home. If the ocean were whiskey and I were a duck, quack, quack, I'd dive to the bottom and get one sweet sup. But the ocean ain't whiskey and I ain't no duck. So I'll play Jack of Diamonds and then we'll get drunk. Oh baby, oh baby, I've told you before to make me a pallet. I'll lie on the floor. <laughs> John. Hoi there, English. Hey, you want a drink? Oh, yes, like you wouldn't believe. Help yourself. They're just over there. Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? Junk. Will you shut up? I got no idea. You in this for the long haul? Always to the bitter end, me, Morgan. Ah, I thought as much. He goes to a tent and he spends half a crown. He meets with a friend and for love knocks him down. With his sprig of shillelagh and shamrock so green. <laughs> That evening, returning as homeward he goes. His heart soft with whiskey, his head soft with blows. With his wiggish shillelagh, the shamrock so green. He meets with his Sheila, who's blushing a smile. Cries, get your gun, pa! Get consents all the while. <laughs> It's your sprig of shillelagh and shamrock so green. I knew you boys would, would come for me. I knew it. I love you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> right. Oh, Lord, forgive me.
You all right? It's bien. You know me. All right for some. Hello. Morning. Good morning. The preacher, I remember. Soon, please. Yeah, yeah. Pearson. Oh, my head is pounding. Oh, why did I drink all that? How's it going? I wouldn't say I'm merry as a marriage bell. Oh, I know the feeling. Lovely as always, Miss O'Shea. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, Tilly. Morning, Arthur. How you doing, my dear friend? About how I look. Then, <laughs> not so well, my guess. And mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hosea. Why? <laughs> For selfish reasons. You... <sighs> yeah. Well, you've been like a father to me. You helped me so much. Not just with the reading, but... With living. You'll be fine. You always have been. I hope so. Oh, trust me. Jack's gonna be fine. You'll be fine. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! Get old I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. <laughs> I've been sort of busy, Miss <laughs> Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. So, what about your family? My family, well, you know. They all died long ago. I guess I'm kind of getting ready to be reunited. Only, I fear my dear Bessie went to heaven while I'll be heading south. <laughs> oh, nonsense. Uh, Probably all nonsense. 
All the things I've seen have made that seem the hardest thing to understand. Well, that's something neither of us know. Not yet. I was some night. <laughs> Real funny. <laughs> You ain't going nowhere yet, old friend. Well, <clears throat> I'm ready. Don't talk like that. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, Arthur. Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. <laughs> Sadly, he's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. Well, I best shake the dust off. Hello, Pearson. Good morning, Arthur. Mary Beth. You okay? You don't seem yourself. Yes, I'm all right. Why? Oh, hello. Okay, just making sure. Sure. Mr. Morgan, I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this. From one of those awful men. You should have it. Well, thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Will you be well, too? I'll try. I really will. Okay. Morning to you. Hi there. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Sometimes, I suppose. Morning. Oh, shit. Oh, I checked my supper on my shoes last night. <laughs> you ain't whining again, are you? I ain't doing nothing. Because I detest whining. Stay out of my way, O'Driscoll. Let's see what this day brings. Hello, Abigail. Hey, how you getting on there, John? Good. Sometimes I think about the old days. Yeah. Seems a lifetime ago. Sure does. Thank you for saving me. I know you saved me. When's that grub done, Cookie? 
Better not be stealing you the fox skin, Reverend. Steal? Stealing me? You. No. I was putting money in. How dare you, Mr. Pearson? Well, go on, Blue. Put it in. Go on! Arthur, you know, I think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> sure, but what next? All that money. Lost in Blackwater. We have licked our wounds long enough. We do what we do. We make more money, and before they even realize that we're here, we're gonna be gone again. And after that? I ain't losing to these... these fools. Arthur, you know me better than that. We get to work here. We make money, and then we head back out west to freedom. Oh. I ain't wavering, son. Molly. Morning, dear. Hi. Hello. Who wants to play some poker? Okay. Used to spend a lot of nights playing this game. My brother taught me to play this during the winter in Vienna. I never beat him once. This will do. Kid wages, huh? Cute. That's what I got. Oh, hell. Good. A small start. That's all? My lord, you're born. Oh, what a tangled web we weave. The stakes go up, gentlemen. Anybody here to play? Ah, 
I don't think so. There you go. Well, not so good. Yes! That was not my intention. Come on! I always feel like the odds are especially stacked against me when I play with you, Strauss. It is a game of pure chance, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I bet you can name the last 20 cards. Well, of course, you have to pay some attention. <sighs> Fold. Ah, uh, this will do. You're real exciting. Real exciting. I'll see you. No. There. Hmm. That is annoying. How about that? Shoot. Looking good. <laughs> yes. Nice to have a break from loaning to the unfortunates of the Heartlands. Huh, <laughs> yeah. I'll check. There we go. I'll believe you for a second, friend. All right, then. Have some fun here. How drunk do you think we are, man? You are fibbing, I think. Mm. I'll go for it. <laughs> All right, then. There. What'd you think, boys? Not Shit. much of a hand. That ought to treat you right. <sighs> yeah. Ah. Well, I guess I ain't beating that. Oh ho. That's more like it. Under. See ya. My mama taught me how to play this. Uh-huh. I'll call. Man, gotta play it safe. Okay, then. Uh, how about we do this?
check for me. No. Well, look what this old man's got. It's, uh, <laughs> pretty pathetic. Now, that is a real hand. <laughs> oh, now that's some liquor money. You been to that small saloon in town? N not Smithfield. The, the beer smells like rotten eggs. Sure. Okay, okay. You're fine, just a little more. I'll call then. Uh, check. Here's some crumbs. Learning how to play. Here. You got Jack and Squat. Uh-uh. That's all I got. Aw, oh, damn it. Huh. Yeah. Yep, there. Now this is a good group of players we got here. I once won a hundred dollar watch playing poker. Call. Yep. There. That's it for now. Respectable bet. If only wishing made it so, huh? <coughs> nah. Uh, how about we do this? Uh, heck yes. Hmm. Got some luck in me yet. Don't stop that luck now! Ooh, someone's gonna have to make a liquor run eventually. <laughs> sure. Yep, check. I'm going easy. You are you. Feel like aren't I'm going to win this one. What's the worry, friend? Just a game. I'm in. You ain't got more than that. I don't believe you for a second, friend. Why not make this interesting, huh? What up? All in. <laughs> you can't fool this old man. How's this look? Damn, what that the was hell? close. Oh, come on. Hmm. Aha! Look at that! This is good. I finally feel like my old self again. Okay. Uh-huh. Hmm. 
Man, gotta play it safe. Okay. Uh, how about that? Uh... Y'all don't run for the hills now. Okay. Call. Get a load of you. <laughs> Forgive me. It's all I can afford. See you. Looking all right here. Nah. All in. Go. All right. Here. Well, look what we uh, got here. Great hand. Well, that's a little something. This is a bust. Yippee! Where was you hiding that? Uh-huh. Oh, now that's some liquor money. Next time, I suppose. Well, I've embarrassed myself enough. See you at the next one. Reckon I'm finished here. Thank you. Hey there. How are you? Hello. Thank you for all your work. Of course, Mr. Morgan. I'm famished. Give me a chance, will you?
Hello, Arthur. Hey, Jack. You're a good kid. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> 